Our topic is friction around us. I'm IG Cheng. And I'm Wong Ho Cheng. Our supervisor is Dr. Chen Manfo. There are many frictions around us. Friction acts along the surface in the direction opposite to the te te tendency of the motion of the object. When the force we use is larger than the maximum of the friction, the object starts moving. Interestingly, the factors affecting the friction are the weight and the texture of the object, not the surface area of it. Apart from solid surface, friction exists when an object moves through liquids and gases. However, this time the shape of the object do affect the time it's used to drop. The property and the density will prove it if we affect too. Raining is common in the earth. When we draw the logos of a water drop or a raindrop, we usually draw like the figure one. Is it a real shape of a raindrop? We found that a raindrop was actually like a bunny shape while we were reading a research from racial science. This activated our curiosities, and we are interested in finding the real shape of it. In this project, we hope to find out the real rain shape. Raindrop is like the water drop we usually draw or not. Also, we want to find out what shape it possibly is. First of all, we use the 3D printers to print three different objects. One is the traditional water drain shape we draw, usually draw in the paintings. Another is a shape we suggest to be real raindrop. One is the sphere. We select a ready-made black cylinder, which is 0 0.5 meters high. We fill it with water and did several drop tests. We re record videos while the objects are dropping in the cylinder. After recording the videos, we use a program called Trackers to, to measure its terminal velocity. In this program, we track the positions of the objects and it will calculate the velocity for us. We took the average velocity when the falling speed of the objects is terminal. Then we started to sum the drag coefficient of each object. According to the formula, the drag force is equal to 1 over 2 times surface area times the coefficients times the density of the water and times the velocity square. As the object is falling at the terminal speed, it, the net force equal to zero, particularly the buoyancy, the gravitational force, and the drag force will be balanced. After all, we get this formula. So by calculating, we can get the drag coefficient. We measured all the required values and made an Excel. After calculation, we knew that the drag coefficient of white ring drop, blue ring drop sphere, and fun sphere. Compared with our results to the calculation in one of the paper, we can clearly see the drag coefficient of white water drop doesn't match with any shape in the table. It's proof that the real shape to the ring is not like the typical water drop logo. According to NASA's website, the drag coefficient of a sphere should be 0 0.07 to 0 0.5. We noticed that our cylinder wasn't tall enough to, to let the sphere to meet its terminal velocity as it's too heavy. Same situation happens in the blue water drop. It may slightly affect the results of it. Therefore, we choose the results of the white water drop for representative as it is more accurate. Moreover, we found that the drag coefficient of the bun shape is similar to one of those data. This evidence proves that the bun shape is possibly similar to the real raindrop. If you only test a limited number of shapes, we can't draw a conclusion of what are the shapes of the raindrop of different sizes. Also, the real raindrop has internal water flow while our object is rigid, so that there will be some differences. However, from some investigation we found, we guessed that most of the raindrop tests in figure 11 are similar to the top of the shape in figure 12, and the bun shape we made. However, as the diameter increases, the ring drop will be fatter and will be similar to the order shape one in the figure. Lastly, it will start dividing and become two separate ring drops. As the objects are moving too fast in the air and it was not easy to track the steps of the falling of the objects. In order to facilitate observation and calculation of falling objects, we chose to drop them in water to slow down the falling speed. At first, we found that some of the objects we printed would float in the water. Therefore, we tried to print them with a hole inside and put some heavy thing in it so as to make the density of it larger than the waters a little bit. As the objects sometimes defend from vertical path, they, we dropped it the, and 
the object for many times. We record a few videos and took the mean of three different velocities of them to make sure the calculation is accurate. This is our references. This is the end of our presentation. Thank, Thank you. you.